All right, let's start with the revelations of uh, Devin Archer is going to testify. This is a big deal. Devin Archer is already yep. on the hook for a $60 million uh, scandal scam. He's already going to prison. He's trying to mitigate how much time he's going to spend in jail. And this is a longtime friend and business partner of Hunter Biden. This could really be dangerous for the entire Biden administration, couldn't it? Absolutely. I think uh, the revelations that Devin Archer has from his time doing business with Hunter Biden, and apparently he's uh, released the fact that Joe Biden has joined Hunter on those phone calls at least two dozen times, at least 24 times. I think that's that's quite damning information, I think, uh, that the American people need to see and understand. And like the clip you played just before the break when Joe Biden said, oh, we kept everything so separate. No, they didn't. Yeah, let me ask you this. Because I think people have had this question backwards for a little while now. They keep asking, okay. if you were elected, would you pardon Donald Trump? No, 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 no. Donald Trump, if you're elected, will you pardon Joe Biden and Hunter Biden and the Biden family? That's the real question. Have you ever had that conversation? I have not had that conversation with President Trump. And certainly when that time comes, it will be his prerogative to do so. Uh, I do think the United States has been suffering under a, a terrible period of injustice. So this whole idea of overlooking crime and overlooking corruption within the, the government, our government can't sustain it anymore. We're seeing the collapse of our government because there's so much corruption in it. So I do think something needs to be done. I hate the idea of it being done in the political system. So uh, you know, there will have to be a creative solution, but I absolutely think we need to bring justice to this country.